Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these bomb twists, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're into the video and this is the hair that I that I bought. Now I bought three packs of this hair to achieve this style and I only use two full packs to achieve this style. So as you see, this is the, the type of hair that I use. I use three packs of the hair. No, I, I bought three packs and I used two packs of the hair. And now we're gonna get into the clips of me doing the tutorial of these bomb twists. Alright guys, so we're into the video and I'm going to show you all the, the products that you're going to need to achieve this hairstyle. As you guys saw, I was picking out my braids that I had. To, um, I only did that because I washed my hair two days ago and I kind of just wanted to set everything in place. So I just took them out. Everything is set. I already moisturized my hair. I went in with the leave-in um, moisturizer conditioner, leave-in conditioner. I also went in with, this is not what's in the bottle, this is just... Um, Jamaican black castor oil. That's what I have in this bottle. I went in with the honey hydrate because I'm trying to keep these braids in for a little bit. And then also I went in with the Indian hemp just to prep my hair before I put my twist in. All right guys, also you're gonna need this type of hair. This is the hair that I'm gonna be using and it's the old tray twisted up springy afro twist hair and this is in 24 inches. Now I have three packs of this and I'm gonna probably do it I'm not going to do it the 24 inches, I'm probably going to cut it in half and do it like um, the 12 inches. So I have three packs of that and I think that should be pretty much enough because it comes um, with the three different sections. You're going to need the, the Shine and Jam, this one right here. And then you're going to need a couple of these um, duck clips or whatever you call them. Your scissors, obviously, to cut your hair and this is the type of comb that I use. Um, do my part. It's one of these type of combs. Okay, so this is how the hair comes. It has like three little sections. I'm just going to take off one of them and start. Alright, I'm going to fold this in half. Just like that. So make sure that both the ends match. Just like that. And then we're just going to cut right here in the middle. I'm going to put the scissors there in place. Still make sure that everything is in order down at the bottom. And then we're just going to snip. Now I'm just kind of trying to like fuzz out the ends like so everything is not so blunt. All right, and then this is the length of the hair that we're gonna be dealing with now. So I'm gonna start off with this section right here. Now I kind of want to go in and still dampen my hair just a little bit, just, just a little, just to moisten it back. Guys, if you see any like specks of stuff in my hair, that's from the Indian hemp. I don't know if you guys know the Indian hemp has like, um, I don't know what these things are that's inside of it. Like these little, um, brown flakes or whatever that's inside the, um, grease. So that's why it looks like that. I'm going to do it too small though. Alright guys, I think I'm going to do like medium size because I don't want to do them like, I kind of want to do tiny ones, but because I'm going to deliver in like 12 weeks, I want this hairstyle to last for like 10 weeks. So alright, let's do it this size. So I'm going to take a little bit of my gel, I'm going to put it on the spot that I'm going to do, just like that, then the rest of it I'm going to put out of the way like that. So what I'm going to do is, 
So let's say like this was the one whole strand, the one whole clip of it. I'm gonna split this in half and use this for one of my twists because I don't want my twist so, so big. All right, then I'm just gonna use the bare two ends right here like that. I'm gonna hold these two like this and then I'm gonna put this finger here and grab, well actually these two fingers here and then grab this one just like that and this is how I'm gonna start off with my braid. Then you're gonna take these two, well this one strand and split it into two. And I'm first gonna grab with these two fingers and with this one little piece of hair right here, you're gonna grab this this section right here of your own hair. Then you're gonna take this one little piece here, attach it to this one, all right? Then you're gonna take this finger and push it through here to grab on, to attach the hair in place. Then hold on here again. Then you're gonna take this point of finger, go underneath here to grab the other piece. And then you're just going to keep doing that until we get this um, locked into place. And then I'll show you what we're going to do once we're ready to start twisting. Okay. Alright, so you can see that that's locked into place, right? We have this one little piece here, right here that we started off with. Also the other little piece that we started off with. We're going to take these two other legs here and we're gonna attach this long leg to this short leg and then this long leg to this short leg. I'm gonna get some more gel in my hand. And then we're gonna just take it over and begin our two strand twist, just like that. And you can keep going in to get more um, jam, just to apply to your natural hair, especially if your hair is natural. And just keep twisting. So guys, I'm kind of like, while I'm twisting, I'm twisting each one kind of like, twisting, like twisting like that bringing it over. Twisting like that, bringing it over. Off to the end. And you're still gonna just keep twisting all the way down. Once you get all the way down like this, and it's all done, what I do is I just take it, hold it like this, and just kind of like twist the end of this. And then I'm just gonna go in and cut off that very end, like that. So again, we're gonna start off with the two short pieces. We're gonna hold it like this, twist, and take these two fingers and grab this one piece. You're gonna grab with these two fingers onto here. Then take this other one here. Thank you. 
So this is another arm um, one piece. I'm gonna split it in two. Thank you. 
guys I'm gonna go in again and show you guys how to attach it I did it twice in the beginning but I'm gonna show you another time I'm just gonna do this part right here and we're gonna take our gel put it on both sides and I just kind of twist it Keep it in place. So guys, I'm getting kind of tired. I'm going to probably finish up a few more. And um, I'll probably come back tomorrow and do the back of it. And then that'll be pretty much it. All right. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.
So guys, I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna come back uh, the next day with the finished look. Cause I figure you guys kinda pretty get the concept of it, pretty much get the concept of it. So I'm gonna do one more in the back and then I'll come back with the finished look, okay? Alright guys, so this is the finished look of how the bomb twist came out. I, I tried to do like medium size and it didn't really take me too long it probably took me maybe all together maybe about eight hours because I did it in two days yeah it didn't take so long because I didn't want to do them so small seeing as how I'm pregnant now I don't want to like be sitting forever so I, I tried to break it up into two days and I did little by little and this this is the size that it is so I try to make the parts not really big but like medium size so this is the the twisted up brand this is the springy afro twist the one that's already pulled out for you and then they have another type that's um kind of coily like so i'm going to leave the link down below for you guys to purchase this here i ordered this from amazon and um it was like five packs of this here for like 40 bucks so i'll leave the link down below for that and if you guys felt like this video was helpful in me trying to teach you guys how to kind of like attach it onto your hair leave a comment down below let me know if you guys tried it and like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the no notification bell so you won't miss another video